Hi again! Welcome to Art with Kendra. Today is a special day. Today is my husband's grandfather's 96th birthday. Yeah, 96. Uh, so that's pretty great and I thought that I would do a little cartoon illustration of Grandpa Murray and then add a splash of watercolor to tell a story just a little bit better. Um, all right, so I have a I have a vision here. I'm going to start with the head. I'm going to put it about the center of the page. I'd like to leave room um, because at the top of the page, I want to add some balloons. So I'm just going to sketch really lightly at first to make sure that everything's going to fit. A little bit of a three quarter angle here, just a little bit. So this is the tilt of the head that I'm going to add in here. So the center is going to be my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and just drop those in. I'm not going to, um, I'm going to do those with pen, not with watercolor. So I'm adding in a nose there. And uh, one of the biggest smiles, really great smile. Um, just, you know, happy, happy guy. So there's some nice, uh, nice smile, smile lines there. And a little bit of a mustache. So we're just going to add that in nice and simply. This mustache kind of extends down there and a beard that connects upward. So we'll add a little bit of a beard here. There we go. Nice old smile there. Add in a little bit of eyebrow. There we go. Some nice smile lines here. There we go. And yeah, we'll probably do a little bit more detail um, like that when we get into the, the ink drawing stage. Now hair kind of swooping up a little bit here. There we go. And I'm just kind of loosely drawing this in. I just want to make sure that my drawing is nice and accurate before I start to watercolor it in. I'm going to give the body here. So I'm just going to loosely drop in kind of a body shape. There we go. Grandpa Murray is very tall, but I like to draw my cartoons being a little bit more, more um, larger headed uh, cartoons. It's harder to draw a taller person when you're doing my style, but We'll see, this arm's a bit too long here. Just sticking to really, really basic shapes, right? Just really basic shapes for now. There, that's a bit better. We're gonna be holding a cupcake. Nice, simple hand. We're doing simple style, nice, simple style today. I find I can sometimes tell a better story when I'm leaving out details, because then everything you put in is important, right? A little cupcake here. Now I'm, I have a tension point between the beard and the cupcake. So one of those, maybe I'll make the cupcake a bit taller. I mean, heck, it's the 96th birthday, right? May as well have a nice big old cupcake there. A little candle on there. I think that'll be good. All right, so there's our cupcake. Add some very simple shoes. There we go. And I want to add that balloon. So here's the hand, imagining this is coming out from here. And we're gonna close the hand off in my nice simple way. And two balloons. There we go, I want to avoid a tension point there. So I'm gonna follow that through. There we go, now we are going to have, one of the balloons is a nine. And the other balloon, you guessed it, we're going to do a six. There's our nine, and then we'll have the six kind of right in there tucked up next to it. There we go. So those are going to be our balloons. When we add in our paint, we can make them feel a little bit more balloon-like by creating um, contrast. Uh, so we can do do a little bit of heavier contrast there. So um, at this stage, what we want to do is erase our pencil lines, like any of the pencil lines we don't need. And I am going to just do that really quickly here. So I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so I'm going to activate my watercolors here, which simply means that I'm going to add water to them. I'm going to start with the easier things. I'm going to start with maybe the skin tone. I'm going to start to add it in. That is, that looks a lot darker. There you go. You can see when it spreads out um, how much lighter that is. And I'm just going right over top of a lot of this stuff. Um, we're going to be adding, remember, pen and uh, so that's going to give us our eyes. Here we go, and I might add a little bit of shadow in there as well. 
Um, I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna a little bit here. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna treat that yet. And hands as well. And then while this tone is wet, I'm going to add just a hint of shadow. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow color here, just kind of mixing in my yellow and a little bit of pink and maybe a bit of brown here as well, just to get a, a nice kind of darker value. There we go. And just dropping that in. Again, this is wet on wet, right? I did kind of adding adding wet watercolor to a to wet page. So I am going to get a little bit of lead happening here, but all that's fine. There we go. Just a little bit in the hand. All right, now I don't want to get in to the face too much uh, because that is wet. So I'm going to start to focus my energy on other areas. I'm going to take a bit out there. I want to create a little bit of a shadow right here. So I'm going to add just a bit more in here. And I can always kind of finesse that a little bit as we go. So that should give us a simple story for that. Now here I have wet paint. Um, maybe I'll jump into one of these balloons. I'm actually quite excited to do these balloons. So I think I'm going to do one of them blue. And I'm not going to do wet on wet at first. I'm just going to go ahead and add my paint. Now I want to leave some really exaggerated highlights. So there's going to be a highlight right here. So I'm going to leave that white. There. So this is going to act a little bit like a mid-tone, but I do want to leave some areas pure white. So I'm going to be strategically kind of omitting some areas here. And those pure white areas are going to be the highlight. So it's going to be the light is going to come in from the right. So I'm going to leave those highlights mostly on that side there. Um, and then I have to leave the six for now. But while that's wet, I could go in and pull in a little bit of a shadow. But I think I'll just wait a minute. It's still a bit too wet for that, I think. Oh, I could add this little, little base here, though, like that. There we go. All right. So I'm going to leave the rest of that. And I could pull out. Maybe I'll pull out just a little bit here. It's almost like a secondary highlight. There we go. All right, let's go into the pants. So I was thinking maybe a gray pant. So I'll add some gray here. There we go. Now I don't want to go too dark because I want my outlines to really stand out. So I'm going to do a kind of a light gray here at first. Maybe I'll just cover everything. And then I'll go in with a bit of a shadow after that's had a chance to dry a little bit. Um, the shirt, I'm going to probably do a red shirt. I can do the cupcake, though. Cupcake icing maybe would be, I don't know, I feel like maybe pink. I'm going to do yellow icing because the shirt is going to be red. And I don't really want those two to compete. So I'm sure yellow icing would be delicious. Maybe it's banana. I'm not too sure. There we go. There we go. Yellow the sun. The sun is pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm missing it a lot right now. It's pretty cold where I live. Um, okay, so I kind of need things to dry before I move on to the next step. So I'm going to blow dry. Now, I was originally going to do a red shirt. However, I'm feeling like the red is going to be too aggressive and I'm liking the softness of everything. So I have changed my mind. We are going for a turquoise shirt. So I'm mixing a little bit of turquoise and I'm going to do, I'm not going to do wet on wet. I'm going to start here and add it in and then I'll soften as I go. Here we go. So I'm just adding that turquoise and then we've got the plate here. I don't need to add some color to the plate or I might just leave it white. I mean, plates are often white. All right. I'm going to add some turquoise to the back here. The reason I've left that part of the arm out is that it would be uh, technically a highlight. So I might just try to soften that over. It's going to be tricky because I have so much paint down. But it'll be a little easier to do on this arm. So now I'm just going to give my brush a clean. And again, I'm just going to soften that edge so that the turquoise pulls over a bit, but hopefully stays concentrated at the base. I might pull a little bit more turquoise into the top. I like to get finicky when I'm painting or drawing. I'm pretty much a finicky artist. I'm going to go here, soften this edge with my paintbrush, trying to stay away from getting too, too uh, into that other space there. Maybe I'll add a little highlight here by pulling out some paint. I'm using a number 10 round brush here, but I'm able to get some pretty good details with it. Um, 
because it has kind of this like one brush on the one bristle on the top that's just really aggressive um it's way longer than the rest so i'm not sure if that's intentional or not but it does it does give you the option to do some detail i'm gonna add a little bit more pigment into our hair here so i have just this really beautiful kind of lilac color i think i just want to add just a little bit more just a hint i'm kind of almost scribbling this in with that tip of the brush to give it a little bit more of a hair like quality I don't want very much in here, really just focusing on the shadow sides. And the beard is a little whiter than the mustache, so I don't want to get that too dark. There. Okay. Oh, we didn't have the shoes done. Let's give him some brown shoes. I think that would be nice. Kind of matches the cupcake. I always liked brown shoes. And we'll give a little bit of shadow to that as well when we when that dries. I'm going to go up there to my balloons now. I can add in a little bit of more shadow there, which is exciting. So I'm using way more pigment here, and I'm just going to kind of go in. And the shadows on something reflective are usually not super blended, so I don't think I'm going to even bother softening these edges. I just want to give this a little bit of kind of a reflective quality here. So I'm just going in and darkening some of these areas. There we go. So we got a little bit of a cast shadow there, but I think this is feeling pretty good. And the outside edge is going to be an outline, so I'm not too concerned about that. And then now for my six, I'm going to go in there with just a hint more pigment. And light coming in this way, so our shadow is going to be here. I'm not going to soften this edge, I'm just going to let it be a hard edge. I've recently had the privilege of drawing with Grandpa Murray. When he was just a young 95 year old, we did some art classes together on Zoom and very, very impressive stuff. Um, and he drew an eye that was just beautiful. I hope I can draw that well when I'm in my 90s, I really do. And you know, Grandpa Murray's got a creative side to him. He's writing a story, he's writing his, his life story right now. Um, and he's done photography, you know, he, he did some video stuff too. I think he might've even made some commercials. Um, he's been a fisherman, I believe. Like I've definitely seen pictures of him on boats and I mean, Grandpa Murray used to go to school in a one room schoolhouse, right? Like he, he's experienced a lot of the things that most of us have only read about or we've seen on TV, but like, we haven't been there. We don't know what it was like. And he knows like he's lived through so much. So yeah, it's, it's just an a lot of fun to be able to to do those drawings with him and learn a little bit about him and draw him today. There we go. So you can see those balloons feel nice and shiny now. Oh, I forgot that little like triangle thingy on the six. I should probably add that in here. There we go. A little balloon triangle there. I will just add a little bit more shadow here. It's a bit too yellow. I want it to be a little bit more pink. There we go. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more shadow. As we get older, we get wrinkles, right? I mean, we all get them. The one thing I will say is that Grandpa Murray has happy wrinkles. I always love, always love that. You gotta strive for those happy wrinkles, the smile, smile lines, and I just think it makes, makes, makes people look so pleasant. So, most people complain about wrinkles, but I think certain wrinkles can really be really be telling and be kind of kind of sweet. I'm working on my smile lines right now. <laughs> Doing art always makes me smile. Yeah, Grandpa Marie, if you're watching this, I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. I hope to get this to you on your birthday, but uh, I do teach a class after this, so I might not get it sent to you right away. Um, but I'm thinking about you and me and my family wish you a very happy birthday. And if you're doing any more of those drawings, please do send them my way. I love seeing your artwork. Maybe you'll do this one. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just a little bit of that pigment in there. You can see it tells the story just a bit better. It's just those little things, you know. 
I'm trying to focus most of the shadow on the shadow side, on the right side. Still, I'm not too sure how I'm going to treat the lips. So I'm starting to think maybe I'll give them a little bit of a, a skin tone pigment and just and just kind of draw in a smile. But I'm still, I could still go the other way. The nice thing about this is the skin color is, is light enough that I can um, still add things over top of it if I want to. So it doesn't have to be the end of my story here. Now in the shoes, I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow. We haven't done that yet. And then I think we're pretty much done. The shadow highlight in the shirt is coming forward really well. So I don't think I need to do anything else there. Um, and the plate, I think I'll give the plate that uh, that really light purple color. It's, it's a nice, ooh, that's a really pigment. There we go. So it's a little bit aggressive there kind of a nice, nice color. Um, balloon lines I'm gonna draw in later. I guess I'll add a little bit more of this in here while I have it. Just love the look of it. Just a little bit more in the mustache. There we go. All right, Grandpa Murray, it's time to add some ink outlines to you. Make sure your painting is dry before you start that step. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot our candle. Oh my goodness, I think we need a candle. So before we get too deep, I'm gonna give a candle to our cupcake here. I'll go with that nice purple color from the balloon. Here's your candle. A little bit more pigment would be good. So I'm gonna avoid that little area. That won't take too long to dry. I'll have to add the flame later because I don't want the flame to, to bleed there. So I'll give it a little flame. So right now I'm gonna start to draw in some of these outlines. So I do have that pencil there, but I'm actually following more the watercolor than anything. Um, I don't like to be too detailed. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you just, you want to do detail, but I'm trying my best not to do too much detail. Stick with my cartoony style. Nice little eyes, happy smile. And how do I want to do the mouth here? I really need to make a decision here. So maybe I will draw it with pencil first. It's kind of going against what I, I could just, yeah, I'm just going to do a smile. Keep it easy. There we go. So we're going to draw the mustache all the way around here. This is more, more what Grandpa Murray actually looks like anyway. Yep, I think I made the right call there. <laughs> Good. All right. And the beard going up. There we go. I think that's dry, but just in case it's not, I'm gonna start with the arm here. Yeah, with the with the cartoons, you can you can say a lot with a little. You don't get distracted by too much detail and. You know, it's just, you include what you want for the story you want to tell and everything else. It's up to you if you want to keep it simple, but that's how I like to do it. I like to focus on the narrative, you know. Just really simple hands. There, doesn't that look nice? wouldn't be a 96 year old man without a few wrinkles so I think we should add a little bit of that in there there we go I like that one I like that little happy smile line there perfect I feel like I want to add a little bit of detail into the hair and the beard I'm going to switch to a smaller pen here and just add a few little squiggles yeah, apparently Grandpa Murray used to drive a Vespa around and rode a horse for six weeks on a cattle drive in the Yukon. Uh, I think he might have been filming at the time. Um, and he was an Arctic icebreaker. Again, I maybe also filming, I'm not too sure. But yeah, just a lot of different experiences, right? He liked to ski, he canoed, he played a little bit of guitar. A lot of really interesting experiences and skills and hobbies right okay drawing in our balloon lines oh this one got close to having a tension point tucking it behind there we go okay so this is where that um 
think I was going to put the six in front of the nine here. So this is where that's going to be more obvious because right now, there we go. So my pencil or my pen line is going to really push that story. I wanted one of them to tuck behind just a little bit. Perfect. Little textures. And then this can go right behind. You can see that clearly tucking in behind now. There we go. Nice. Now we still need to add our cast shadow. I also want to erase some pencil lines, but I have learned my lesson. You do not do that right away. You never erase your pencil lines right away because the pen, it might smudge on you and that, that's just not something you want to have happen. All right, so I'm adding Payne's gray here. You can see my water got a little out of hand. So there we go, Add a little bit more pigment here. This particular brush is, is wonderful for watercolor because it does hold a lot of water, but every now and then I get too gonna do a little cast shadow here. So cast shadow is the shadow created by the object. I'm gonna soften it, but I'm gonna kind of soften it with a wet on wet kind of pull. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. Here's Grandpa Murray. Yeah, nice man. Talented, very interesting life. Happy. All right. Kind of what you, what you want. All right. Thanks for drawing with me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Have a wonderful uh, time doing your art and uh, happy birthday, Grandpa Murray. Bye everyone. I'll see you soon.